Good ask you of wearechange.org outside here in Fort Meade, right outside the Bradley Manning Court hearing. We just heard the verdict. I'm here with Alexa O'Brien. Alexa, what's your reaction to what just happened? I'm still really taking it in. I'm very angry, um, and I'm very sad for Bradley Manning. What, how many years does Bradley Manning face now under all these charges that he has been found guilty of? The sentencing phase of this trial begins tomorrow. He faces a maximum punishment of 136 years. What are the larger implications behind everything that just happened right now? Well, you know, it's funny, um, when the press finally started to figure out that aiding the enemy, as it was charged in this case, was a threat to national security reporting, it, you know, it overshadowed the fact that Manning is also was charged with uh, essentially uh, eight Espionage Act charges, which are, you know, certainly criminalizes uh, the press and whistleblowing. Um, and, uh, you know, my, my thoughts on this generally are that the press has been completely... Uh, negligent. They have been um, uh, without any kind of honor uh, to their profession or to the public uh, for the lack of access, uh, the, the lack of not pushing back against the lack of access to this trial as well as to their lack of coverage. And they have, in a, in a sense, um, you know, they, they are completely oblivious to um, the, um, the threat that this trial poses to um, both national security reporting and to whistleblowing. Um, and they come on, you know, it's, it's a media circus here. I've never seen this much press here on, on the day that this young man essentially, um, you know, begins a funeral. Yeah, they cover his persecution, but they don't cover what he re even, you know, kind of released and, and got out there. It's kind of mind-blowing to see all this, this just on one person, but it does have a lot of larger implications. I mean, you were inside. Uh, can, can you tell us what else have you gained from just covering everything here from this, this experience? Well, I mean, I've learned so much through this whole process. Um, I, I've, I've developed a complete disdain for the mainstream media um, and for the laziness of uh, many journalists. Um, and I also feel um, a sense of uh, purpose through this whole process um, and clarity of watching uh, this trial unfold. Um, I mean, that's yeah. probably... Is there anything else you'd like to say from just being here today? Um, it's really important that people of good conscience, citizens, come to the fore and do the things that the press are not doing um, and push back on these um, disgusting um, and dishonorable um, aggressions against uh, civic society, a public information, um, and also the conscience of a young man. Uh, Bradley Manning is going to need uh, people to continue to cover him, not just simply through this trial, but through the appellate process. Um, and, um, you know, his, his fate and I think our fate are intertwined. Yeah. And the sentencing is tomorrow, 9.30 in the morning. He now faces a total of 136 years. How many counts has he been convicted of? Or? I haven't counted it out all. Um, she basically found him guilty um, to the greater offense for... Uh, you know, I, I need to count it out. Yeah. I have, I just published a chart, yeah. yeah. It um, just happened, this just broke, so yeah. Um, essentially, she found him not guilty for aiding the enemy, and she found him not guilty for the Guarani airstrike, and she found him guilty to the lesser included offense of the Espionage Act for collateral murder um, and for one other charge. I have to, I'd have to look. Uh, what do you think will happen tomorrow? Well, we begin a very important part of the trial. It's the sentencing phase. The government is going to trot out 13 closed session witnesses that include people like Brigadier General uh, Robert Carr, who was the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency's Information Review Task Force, Patrick Kennedy, the Undersecretary for, um, of Management at the State Department, um, and other State Department and government officials from JIDO, which is the joint uh, IED, um, essentially, organization within the Department of Defense um, and they're going to essentially talk about the lack of damage or the damage or impact from these leaks. Um, what remains to be seen is how much of the sentencing phase is actually going to be accessible to the public. Thank you so much, Alexa. I really right. appreciate that very much. Thank you. Hope that was okay. Yeah.